fit in fairly quickly. And meeting new people was easy to do. There's always stuff going on and things to do. It makes a difference when you feel like you matter. I was really nervous, but living in residence made the transition much easier. I'm studying at the School of the Environment. It's somewhere where I feel comfortable just being myself. Family is a big deal to me. It's number one in my life. When I first came to Canada, I felt that feeling of family, and I found all that at St. Mary's University. You're looking at a welcoming hand, people who are willing to encourage you, people who are willing to support you. It's kind of a drive that pushes you. I had no idea what I wanted to do. One of my professors gave me the opportunity to work on research involving volcanoes and earthquakes in Alaska. It's one thing to go to university and to read about things, but to get out there is really valuable. In my second year of international development studies, I was given the opportunity to do research in Vietnam. So I met this awesome guy named Chung, and we rode around gathering interviews throughout neighborhoods. Getting him to drive me around and, and look at these farms and get to talk to some farmers was beyond valuable. We all face adversity, right? Last year I was stressed about my family in Nigeria. One of my profs, she recognized that something was wrong and she gave me a chance to redo an assignment and that meant a lot to me. One of my professors always says all the great scientists started doing real science in their 20s. I think it just makes me feel like people believe in me. I never saw myself as a leader, but over the three years in business at St. Mary's, I became more confident. One of my favorite things is helping new students make the transition from high school into university. I feel like I have relationships that are going to last. I never expected I'd be given such an opportunity to travel the world. I'm a big believer in empowerment, and when you believe in people, you can make an impact in their lives, and they might not even know it.